Tonight, the man accused of photographing Senator Thad Cochran's wife at a nursing home remains behind bars tonight. 16 WAPD's Adas Brown joins us live from the Madison Municipal Court where Clayton Kelly had his first appearance today. Adas. Scott Clayton Kelly faces felony charges for exploiting a vulnerable adult. Now, if he's found guilty, he could serve up to 10 years in prison. Are you Clayton Thomas Kelly? Yes, sir. The man charged with exploiting Senator Thad Cochran's wife, Rose Cochran, was calm as he faced a judge Sunday. Clayton Kelly is accused of sneaking into the dementia patient's assisted living home, taking pictures and posting it online as a video. He shook his head as a police officer testified how they discovered the case. That video was posted and, and put on, put out on the internet for a time where other people actually obtained copies of it, and that's how we received it before. Turned out of 100,000, we would ask it to be lower. Clayton Kelly's attorney said his client was cooperating with police, doesn't have an extensive criminal record, and should have a lower bond of ten to twenty thousand dollars. Judge Dale Danks said no, and prosecuting attorney Trey Sims argued that the bond fit the crime. The city has an interest in protecting those folks and takes those cases very seriously, and protecting the community and keeping the community safe is one of the elements you look at when setting a bond. Only yes and no comments from Kelly to the judge and his attorney. He kept a straight face, even as his wife cried in the audience. Kelly faces felony charges and is now center stage in one of the most hotly contested Senate races in the nation. Now, Clayton Kelly will appear in court again on Thursday, live at Madison Municipal Court, Hadass Brown, 16 WAPT News. Thanks a lot, Hadass. Now, Madison police are still investigating whether other individuals may, be, may have been involved in this break-in. Kelly's attorney claims his client voluntarily took down the video about 90 minutes after uploading it. He says the photo was taken through an open door at that nursing home, not in Rose Cochran's room.